body in the form of a cuddly or not so cuddly animal. Imagine a world, maybe not so hard to imagine, where religious authority dictates everything you do and the only path to deliverance may lie in another dimension. We are talking about the award-winning series of novels by Philip Pullman, his dark materials, which have now been reinvented, reimagined, and yet remain faithful to the core principles that were laid out in those novels by HBO in the new series, His Dark Materials. So without, so without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the creative team that has brought this world to vivid life. All right, let's start with the creative genius that uh, reinvented uh, 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 Doctor Who and a whole generation of great quality programming at the BBC, executive producer Jane Tranter. A long walk, Jane. <laughs> I did, I brought my own cheering section. Um, please welcome the young woman, famous to many of you as a very stabby mutant, X-23 in Logan, who now embodies Lyra Silvertongue Balakwa, Miss Daphne Keene. Sorry, I got very excited because I wanted to build up to the award-winning writer, Olivier Award-winning writer, who brought Harry Potter to the stage in the West End and on Broadway, the Tony and Olivier, uh, Olivier winning writer, Mr. Jack Thorne. That's Jack, everybody. Uh, I would like to introduce now an amazing actor. Actually, you know, hold on one second. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I did this correctly because this is a pretty, pretty scary individual, or not, the enigmatic, chilly, but maybe uh, also heroic, you'll find out, actress who plays uh, this, this Marissa Coulter, played by a woman you may remember as a lovable sociopath in Luther. <laughs> who you may also remember as a, sincere, as a sincerely anguished woman in the affair, and now <laughs> as a woman who knows exactly what she wants in his dark materials, Ms. Bruce Wilson. Now, when we talk about this person, I really want, I really want us to think about all the roles they've played. Um, chronic underachiever, someone who's never been quite appreciated on any platform. The Grammy, Tony, and many other awards I can't even name, forced behind, behind Hamilton and the Heights. The man you may know now as Texan balloonist and adventurer extraordinaire Lee Scoresby, Mr. Lin-Manuel Miranda. Many things to the world. 